But right here we have our software interface. So I use our software interface here for machine. The new software from Native Instrument. And it's not just a software, it's also a hardware. And whatever we can do here in the software, we can also do on the machine's hardware device as well. Now, first we're going to talk about the software device and go a few videos here, and then we'll start working with the hardware and show how they both work together. Now, first of all, I want to go over this hardware and how the um, software works with the hardware and how you can get around in this user interface window. Now, here, of course, we have our machine menu with file, edit, view, and help. Now, the same menu you'll see here in the header, which is right here. And it has file, edit, view, and help. Only difference is that the file here in the menu, top menu bar, offers a couple more solutions. We can export audio. We can also sync to external MIDI clock. And we can send MIDI clock out. Now here in the browser window, this is the header right here. I'm going to explain some ideas here in, the, here in the header. Of course, you just saw the menu here. And here we can hide this browser section. So I can go here and hide it. And we get a better view of these lower sections. This section here we have groups. This is our rain section. Here we have master control sound and source, effects one and two, and the out for the group. This is our control section. And below that, this is our pattern section, as you can see right here. So it says sounds would be right here, and it's our pattern section. And we can hide this other section here, which is our browser. Now next to that right here, we have our BPMs. Of course, if you've been working with software before, you understand BPMs. And this is our display area here. So I can click here, drag up and down, the cursor disappears, but you see I'm actually changing the BPM, which is the tempo, beats per minute. Next, we have swing. Grab it here, up and down, I can go from 100 to 0 with my swing. Next to that, we have our time signature. So I can change it to whatever I want to change it to, 3, 4 if I want to, 2, 4, depending on what your project's parameters are. Next to that displayer, we have our transport controls. Now, the first control is our restart. That means I can always go to the top of my song. I could be five miles in, click this, I'm back at the top. And see, it says play. Click at the top, it goes to play. But if I hit play again, it stops. So play is a play when it turns this color, and a stop when it goes back to gray. Now, next to the play stop, we have the record button. It's a classic record button. You would just hit it, it goes red, like in most softwares. Hit it again, it's back to gray. Very easy to get around it. No, it's pretty simple. Now, right here, we have our connect button. Connect to the software. Next to this, we have our audio engine button. Now, turn it on, turn it off, or turn it on. Here we have our CPU meter. We want to know how much power we're using with our computer. Well, we'll know right here. Next to that, we have our volume control. You will see the levels go up here for the um, how loud it is for the LED and say, well, it's too loud. Bring it right back down right here, up or down. And the same controls are on the hardware. And next to that right here, we have our Native Instrument logo. In my next video, we're going to cover this whole area right here, known as the browser.